So guys, what's the deal? What's up, Keller? Man, uh, it hasn't been as bad as as you know everybody, if most most NBA players or whatever. You know, I mean, I found a gym. Uh, for me, you know, honestly, it's about conditioning. You know, my skill set is gonna always be there. You know, I spent so much time uh, over the course of the years. Like I, you know, I, I'm very very skilled. So it's about my conditioning, making sure that. I can get to my spots. I can get to my moves whenever I need to. Um, but but this this whole uh, pandemic has been has been BS. Um, but I mean, it's something that we got to live with and we got to figure it out together. You know what I mean? The game, just being able to um, um, see the games. You know, it's cool when you put the old games on or whatever. But it's it's nothing like you know um, what's going on in the present. You know what I mean? Um, and why, I, and why, yeah, why you say it's cool when you put the old games on? I mean, you know, just to watch <laughs> basketball. <laughs> just to watch basketball. But I'd rather, I'd rather see what's going on in the present. I'd rather see what's going on right now. You know what I mean? I've been there and done that with the, with the old games. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see what's going on, you know, with the new wave. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you night in and night out. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I got the um, the the pass, the lead pass, so I get to see my favorite players night in and night out. You know, and I just miss that. I ain't gonna lie, I've been I've been as a, as this you know quarantine or whatever you call it been happening. I got an a opportunity to sit down and watch a you know a lot of us like older games and whatnot, and people talking about it. It's just this, it's different. It was more physical. It was more bumping and grinding, and I feel like I got hoop back then. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I just, as a competitor, as as confident as I am with my skill set, I feel like with the handles and the stuff that I can get to, and right? I, I could, you know what I mean? I feel yeah. like I could have bumped back it, then. It, it would have been worse, man. It would it would it have been it would have probably been worse because a, a a lot of um a lot of what go on now is um guys have seen a lot of this stuff, you know, because so many people can do it. A lot of people do the hands up. A lot of people cross over this, that, and the third right now. But back then, you know what I mean, not too many people were doing it. So these guys were, you know, these guys now, man, those guys back then would have been unfamiliar with that stuff. We would have had them dancing all over the floor. And we know that, you know what I mean? They talk about the physicality of, of the whole thing. Yes, it was physical, you know what I mean? But basketball is basketball, like I was telling them. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It, you know, you play a certain way and you adjust. You know what I mean? I, I, I know that um when I first came in the league, you know, my teammates used to tell me um, at Georgetown, like, yo, I know you can't wait to get to the league. They can't play boxing one on you, one, three, one, two, threes. You know, they got to play you man up. And that's what I was excited about going into the league. Mm-hmm. And then you get there and you win a couple scoring titles. Then all of a sudden, a zone coming to the NBA, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> people get to hide, you know. Now, yeah. now you, you know, the only way these guys can play is you put in a zone because you can hide them, you know, mm-hmm. with the zone. So, you know, you had to adjust, and obviously you get different coaches that help you deal with, you know, how to adjust to playing in the zone and all that. So, man, these guys today can definitely play, and, and I played in both eras, so yeah. I know it can happen. Now, even though you know exactly like you just said, you play in the both areas, so you're different. It's only a handful of dudes that's just different that can play against anybody, any area, any I don't care who you who guard me. Like it's just that competitive nature that you got. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's that's second to none. Iverson, bothered by Lou. Iverson, yes. How about that? And the steps over to Ross. To work. I thought it was going to be oh, man, hard. Oh, he stared at Wesley Johnson and then he hit the three. Wow. Don't downplay yours. Yours was different. No, but see, no. No, man. See, I, when, when it comes from, it, it kind of made me feel like, okay, um, James seen the, um, the Randolph Childress when he did it to um, Jeff McGinnis. You know what I mean? When he was playing for Wake Forest mm-hmm. and uh, he hit him with the cross and told him to get up and shot the three. And then it was a, a – start. I think Stoudemire did it to Ron Hopper. Mm-hmm. Um, and then – but yours was just – it was just the most – one of the most disrespectful things 
I've seen in my life besides seeing somebody get dumped on. I mean, for, to, to hit them with it, to watch them fall, and to look at them, had time to spin the ball, and then <laughs> look like he was shooting a free throw, man. It was, it was crazy, man. I couldn't believe it, though. And the I crazy part about it is that I wasn't even going to shoot the ball. The only reason I shot the ball because the dude that was guarding the dude in the corner ran at me. I would have held the ball a little longer. That's <laughs> what he was going to do. He never got up. <laughs> it was bad, man. It was bad. It was if, – if, if you understand and, – and I know you've been, you've been in the wars. You know what I mean? You understand what I'm talking about when it has nothing to do with basketball. You know what I mean? It has nothing to do with a one-on-one -on -one matchup. But at some point – when it's trash talking and when there's a lot of physical play, it becomes that. For sure. And when when that when that when it happened, it was just like it was just my reaction and of of all of the things that had been going on with me and him up to that point. And it just happened. And people try to get me to duplicate it and do it over again. And I can't do it. Right. And you know, I, I just can't do it. It just happened like that. And that was, you know, that was just a basketball moment. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh God.